I want to take a second to go over a commonly very misunderstood code on General Motors pickups. This is a Z28. Um, P0446 causes a check engine, service engine, soon light. And the trouble code description is evaporative system, vent system performance. So most people change a gas cap, gas cap or the vent valve. And that's not what it is and I'll show you I'll show you what it is you need to you need a good scan tool and you need to get into the live data to confirm this um, and you want to look at the enhanced evap or the evap if you can and what this usually is is a sensor the fuel tank pressure sensor that's in the top of the fuel tank and you look at the value and with the gas cap off it should be right in the middle somewhere around two and a half volts fuel tank pressure and So you look here, this is stuck, it's 0 to 5 volts, and this is stuck at 4.8 volts. The sensor is basically shorted. And you can see that it's actually giving you this in red here. Um, so what this does is it confuses a computer because it opens the vent and it doesn't see a change in the pressure. So it thinks the vent is malfunctioning when it's really the pressure sensor. That should change now this you have to take the fuel tank out on the pickups and the cars and the sensor is in the top of the uh, fuel pump unit where the lines come out it's a little square box that's plugged in and anyway this should be around two volts two and a half volts it should not be pegged towards the top or the bottom so it shouldn't be almost five volts or almost zero volts it should be in the middle and when this thing screws up it'll it will prevent your system readiness monitors from running and completing and all kinds of stuff it causes havoc with the computer this is a fuel tank pressure sensor general motors it's a very high failure rate part And this is what you need to change on this Z28. It's about three and a half, three and a half hours labor. You can see here after repairs, it's 1.49 volts. So it's a lot happier. So now we can, uh, I know that's a little, it seems a little bit on the low side, but. Trouble codes, erase codes. We can erase the codes now that we know the problem's fixed. You never want to delete OBD2 codes until you're sure you've corrected a hard problem because they will come back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll create a uh, separate channel for automotive diagnostic stuff because I do a lot of it. And you got to remember these OBD2 codes are not always directly the fault of what the thing says it is. It's a computer and it needs good inputs from good sensors to give good outputs.